we're giving this 90s fireplace a facelift. My sister-in-law, Debbie, doesn't like the color of the tile, and look how silly this mantle is with how short and high up it's sitting. We spent a few hours tearing out the old. I used a utility knife to score the edge of the mantle before we ripped it off the wall. To tear out the tile, I used a hammer and a pry bar. A few tiles did take some drywall chunks with them. So we had to make some drywall patches before it was time to install the new tile. We also scraped off parts that had old tile adhesive still stuck. You want a nice smooth surface for the new tile. And I had to drill a hole in the drywall for the gas valve. Next up, I found the center of the fireplace and I drew a level line for our first row of subway tile. So there's two different ways to do this. Some people prefer to spread the tile adhesive over in one big chunk so they can just put the tile on really quickly. Okay. But dad always recommends to back butter it, which means spreading it on each tile, which means that we can level them as we go. It also keeps your grout lines much cleaner. We put them up with 1 16th spacers. Those are the plastic green things. Yeah, let's painters tape that. And we secured the first row with painters tape to keep them from sliding down. We also decided to let that row dry for a full day so it was a secure base for the rest of our tile. The rows after that went up very quickly. Then we added the left and right side borders before adding in the pieces of tile that had to be cut. I used a scribe and snap tool for most of those cuts. The trickier cuts, like the one around the gas valve, had to be done on the wet tile saw. So now it's finally time to grout. You ready? Ready. You'll need a big tub of clean water, a big sponge, a grout float, and we used pre-mixed grout. It is more expensive, but it takes out the guesswork of trying to get the right consistency. We chose white grout to hide any imperfections in our tile spacing. A darker grout would highlight all the flaws. Scoop up a pretty healthy chunk and then just start pushing it in all the way up the joints. Yep, push it in all directions. Then after grouting a small area, you want to clean it off the tile before it dries too much. You get the sponge wet, but then you want to wring out most of it. You don't want to take off what's in the cracks. You just want to take off what's on the tile. So we're just wiping and kind of, you can see how like circles will get it off the front of the tile. Then rinse and repeat over and over until the tiles are clean. Then it's back to grouting. And we'll be honest, we started just using our hands to push the grout in. <laughs> you, got a, you got a real wax on, wax off thing going yeah. on. Don't judge us. You're not here. You don't know. <laughs> Take our word for it. Sometimes you improvise. Once the grout was all done and cleaned off the tiles, we wiped them with glass cleaner. This takes any grout haze left over off. See, now it's all shiny, do you see? Oh, yeah. And this DIY is a family affair. Big man's here. I brought my dad in to help us install this three inch thick hunk of wood. This mantle was made by my father-in-law. Do you want us to get the mantle? Nope, he wanted to find the studs on the wall first and drill some holes for steel rods. And that's because the mantle will be floating, no brackets. Now we're gonna have to transfer those measurements okay. to points on here, and then we'll drill those out. Then he put the steel rods in those holes we pushed it into holes he pre-drilled in the wall. After caulking where the tile meets the wall and the fireplace insert, installing the gas valve cover, she's done. And she's a beaut. So wow. again, those subway, subway tiles were only $15 a box, Amazing. and we only used one box. So I know your father-in-law made that mantle. Like, yes, what he would did. It, what would it cost if you were to buy it? We actually somewhere? looked yeah. it up, and on the lower end, with a hollow one, it'd yeah. be like $150. But uh, to have it solid wood is I, I've seen it, I've, I've seen it five, yeah. six hundred dollars because yeah. we're looking at almost identical thing. I'll make you a trade, okay? Mm, you do our fireplace 
and I'll train your new puppy. Oh, oh. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> no one knows about that yet. Oh, 